Ladies and gentlemen, and Pokemon fans of the world, Crasher Chase is back, and I have another Pokemon X and Y analysis video. Now, I do apologize for it being somewhat late. I've been extremely busy uh, breeding and catching new Pokemon, and also wonder trading. Um, but this analysis is going to be featuring the counterpart, I believe, to Aromatisse, that being Slurpuff. And, <laughs> uh, looks aside, this Pokemon is extremely threatening. So, with that being said, I'm going to go over things like its typing, ability, stats, and a few sets that I have for you. So, with Slurpuff, its typing is that of Fairy type, which is the exact same as Aromatisse. Hence why I say that this is, I believe, the counterpart of Aromatisse. The ability it gets is known as Sweet Veil. Uh, which acts as insomnia or vital spirit, where you cannot be put to sleep. But the difference is, is that in doubles and triples battles, your allies cannot be put to sleep either, which is incredible. Uh, as for its ability, is known as Unburden. And what this ability does is, after your item is used up in battle, so if you're using like a berry or a, a focus sash or something like that, like basically a one-time use item, your speed doubles, so that's actually really good. Um, as for the stats, you see it really doesn't have any bad stats. Like, they're pretty well balanced. I mean, its base 72 speed is a little bit to be desired, but that's all right. That's workable. Its HP is at base 82, which is very good, and you pair that up with 86 defense and 75 special defense, it's not that bad either. I mean, it's... Base 75 Special Defense is something to be desired for yet again, but there is a way to somewhat remedy this. Um, and as for its offenses, Base 80 Attack and 85 Special Attack is pretty good. I mean, they're not the highest, but with the amount of usage that you can get out of Slurpluff, along with its move pool, this guy can be pretty threatening. So with that said, I'm going to be going over some set ideas. Let's jump into the first one. So with this first set here, it has to be my favorite set of them all. Uh, it acts as a full-on offensive Pokemon while being able to take hits. The nature that we're going to be giving it is a modest nature to increase its special attack. The ability that we're using is known as Sweet Veil, so that you do not fall asleep. The item we're using is known as Assault Vest, and what this is, is it's a new item introduced into this generation, and it's not quite like a choice item, but even though your special defense gets increased by one stage, you're stuck with using damaging moves, so you cannot use anything like Calm Mind, Protect, Toxic, or anything like that, which is okay for a full-on offensive Pokemon. The EV spread goes like this, 128 into HP, 120 into defense, and 252 into special attack. And why I chose this spread is you want to be as physically bulky as possible. And with the Assault Vest boost, you're going to get some added special bulk. So I figured with a spread like this, you're going to be hard to take down. And... While you're being hard to take down, you are dishing out a ton of damage. Now, as for the move set, just take a look at this. Like, take a look at the amount of variety it has. It gets Dazzling Gleam, which is a weaker version of Moonblast. And this move is also, to make note of, it hits uh, both opponents in doubles battles. And I don't think it hits your teammate, but it hits multiple Pokemon that are on the opposing side, which can be pretty awesome. Now, the next move is known as Flamethrower, which melts through steel types, which is one of the types it happens to be weak against. And the next move is Psychic, which pulverizes poison types that Slurpuff is otherwise weak against. And then the last move is known as Surf. Now, how the hell can a ball of cotton candy, like, get all these moves like it's just, it's just so it's like it's unreal like it's it's almost like that this pokemon is too good offensively um <laughs> like it's it's amazing now some moves to consider 
Hidden Power Ground to give you flawless coverage, and you can use that over uh, Surf if you'd like. Um, Energy Ball can be used over Surf as it covers uh, grass, or I'm sorry, it covers the likes of ground and rock and also water types that would otherwise cause this set some problems. And we also have Thunderbolt to use over Surf. If you're scared of the likes of Gyarados and you want to one-shot him, unless of course it's a mega form, then you're in for a real shocker. But with the EV spread, I figured that uh, you'd be able to take some physical hits and dish him back even harder. So with this set done and out of the way, it's time for another one. So this next set here aims to make Slurpuff as much of a physical wall as possible. Uh, the nature we're going to be giving it is an impish nature to lower its special attack and increase its physical defense. The ability we're going for is once again going to be Sweet Veil. Um, the item for choice is going to be Leftovers. And as for the EV spread, 252 we're going into HP, 252 into physical defense, and 4 into speed. And as for the move set here, we have Play Rough. And this is a new move introduced in this generation. And... While it's a very solid base 90 uh, base power move, it also has a 90% accuracy, which isn't the best, but its uh, side effect is the fact that you can also lower your opponent's attack by one stage, or I shouldn't call it a side effect. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Um, it's a secondary effect. Uh, the next move that we have is known as Wish, and Slurpuff is very fortunate to get this move. And along with Protect, you have the Wish Protect combo, and also you have the ability to pass a Wish off to a weakened uh, teammate and heal them back up. And the next move we have is known as Cotton Guard, and Cotton Guard increases your physical defense by three stages. So after two Cotton Guards, you're going to be next to impossible to take down on the physical side. Um, but whatever you do, do not switch this into any special attackers, otherwise you're going to be wasting your Slurpuff Puff very quick. Now moves to consider, I have Aromatherapy and Toxic, and Aromatherapy is a good thing to have so that um, not only are you healed from any statuses, but your teammates are also healed from any statuses too. And it might be a good thing to have Aromatherapy on here, only so that you don't get statused like uh, toxic or burned otherwise your walling capabilities are going to be seriously limited and speaking of toxic we have that as a move to consider now it's going to be very hard to actually throw in a move like this uh, with a set like this because the set that I have going on right now is actually pretty solid so if you can find some way to throw toxic in then go for it but I, ju I just thought that I'd consider that move anyways because uh, with Wish Protect Toxic stalling it can work out pretty well. So that's all I have to say about this set. Let's move on to another one. So with this next set here I'm gonna be putting a bit more of a creative twist on this one. The nature that we're gonna be giving it is a bold nature to increase its physical defense and lower its attack. The ability for choice can be either. You can go with Sweet Veil or Unburden. I would recommend Sweet Veil if you're going to be going with Leftovers, and if you're going to be going with Unburden, then you can go with a, a one-time use item such as a Slackberry, which happens to be the two items for choice. And the reason why we're going with a Slackberry for the case of Unburden is, despite its base 72 speed, um, if you uh, were to uh, get hit down to the range where you your salic berry activates not only are you going to get that speed boost from the salic berry but you're also going to get the unburdened speed boost so you're going to be at plus three for speed which is absolutely amazing as for the ev spread 252 are going into hp 252 into physical defense and four into speed and as for the move set we have the combine wish combo and you already know how that works you set up a wish and then you start combining away and the third move that we have is Dazzling Gleam. And along with its fourth move, Flamethrower, offers really, really nice coverage. Um, it's a great way to hit 
uh, through steel types and whatever resists fairy types. Um, and as, well, with the exception of uh, fire type Pokemon, uh, you're otherwise completely walled by those guys. Now, the moves to consider. We have Psychic being a way to work with Dazzling Gleam, but then you're walled by Steel types. And then we have Hidden Power Ground, which actually smashes through Steel types, Ground types, or I'm sorry, Poison types, and Fire types. But if you are a Pokemon named Skarmory, then uh, <laughs> you're going to have some serious problems with that. Um... The next move to consider is known as Energy Ball, which again is a great way to deal with bulky water, ground, and rock type Pokemon, and Thunderbolt to deal with the likes of Skarmory and bulky water type Pokemon, and we also have Surf as a way to not be walled by fire, poison, or steel types, unless their secondary type resists water. So um, I actually like this uh, set idea because after you set up a couple Calm Minds, and your Salak Berry activates, you're going to be quite the threatening sweeper, and it's pretty much a good game from then. So, that's it for this set here. It's time to move on to another one. With this last set that I have here, we're going to be turning Slurpuff into quite the fearsome mixed attacker. The nature that we're going to be going for is a mild nature to lower its physical defense and increase its special attack. The ability is known as Unburden, and you already know what that is because I've already explained it. And the item for choice, we're going to be going with a Citrus Berry because after you take a hit, if your health is at 50% or below, your Citrus Berry will activate, you'll eat it, and you'll double your speed and be ready to sweep. Now as for the EV spread, 128 is going to be going into attack, 128 into special attack, and 252 into speed. As for the move set. Are you kidding me? It gets Belly Drum. So that's the first thing that you're going to be wanting to do with this guy when you get into battle is use Belly Drum. And that cuts your HP in half and maximizes your physical attack. And as long as your health is above half after your opponent hits you, Belly Drum will be very will still be able to be used and your Citrus Berry will activate and you'll have some health left and you'll be ready to sweep. And the next move that we have is Play Rough, which is a physical type, fairy type move uh, that hits for base 90 power, as I mentioned previously. And after a Belly Drum boost, um, can anyone say ow? Yeah, I say you played a little too rough there. And the next move that we have is known as Flamethrower to basically deal with steel types and whatever... Uh, play rough has trouble against and then we also have psychic for really good coverage against poison types now moves to consider i reluctantly put return there because it's a normal type move and it doesn't deal any super effective damage however on the upside if you're if your pokemon is at its maximum happiness this move deals 102 base power damage so with the belly drum boost you're going to be hitting extremely hard. And moves to, the other moves to consider, we have Surf, Energy Ball, and Thunderbolt as special alternatives to deal with uh, respective Pokemon that would otherwise give this set a hard time. Surf for bulky ground and rock and fire type Pokemon. Energy Ball for bulky water, ground, and rock type Pokemon. And Thunderbolt to deal with the likes of Skarmory. Um, and any other bulky water or flying type Pokemon. This is it, guys. This is all I have to say in this video and for the set ideas and for this Pokemon. Be sure to leave a comment. You know, an honest rating is very much appreciated. You know, tell me what you like, what you don't like about the videos, any changes, etc. Um, I hope you guys in the U.S. had a happy Thanksgiving, and I shall see you guys next upload. This is Crash Chase signing off.